Hi there, my name is Kat, and this is the I Write, I Read, I Review edition of Stocking the Shelves, which I do to show off the books that I've purchased or received in the last while as part of my Shopaholic Sunday feature. Anyway, as you probably noticed, I've been really busy because I haven't been blogging. I've been working on revisions for my novel, Moondance. I am roughly two-thirds of the way through. The last end is pretty much getting a total rewrite, so life's been pretty crazy. But you're not here to hear me talk about my books, you're here to hear me talk about what I've purchased. So let's get to that. Okay, the first thing I have to show you guys is called Fairy, Ta Fairy Tale Weddings. It's by Debbie McComer. I think I got her name right this time. Anyway, this looked pretty cool. It's got retellings of Cinderella and Beauty and the Beast, and they're modernized. So when I saw this, I figured, why not? Because I am working on the outlines for a fantasy slash fairy tale series I want to do called Tales of Olithica. So right now anything fantasy or fairy tale has my attention, so I couldn't resist picking this up. The next thing that I picked up is Bed of Roses by Nora Roberts. This is the second book in the Bride Quartet, so I couldn't resist. I already have Vision in White. I'm almost done it. I should have a review for you guys soon. I know that's been ridiculously long. It hasn't been because I dislike the book, though. It's just been because I've been busy. So when I saw this, I wanted to get it because I want the whole set. So here it is. Anyway, looking forward to it. Should be great. Can't wait to read it. The next things I picked up were actually from Shoppers Drug Mart, which is actually in this little town I live in, probably one of the best places to get young adult books because they actually get a decent selection and they sell them for 25% off. This is Brave New Love. It's an anthology of short stories, or like little, like just little smaller stories anyway, that are dystopian. This caught my attention because I know Kira Cast is in here, and so is Carrie Ryan, so I figured, why not give it a shot? I probably won't be actually reviewing this. I might talk about it a little or something, but I can't see a way to really review something like this properly. But I am looking forward to reading it. It's great when I'm stuck in the car between stuff, things like that. So I couldn't resist. The other book that I picked up while I was at Shoppers Drug Mart is called Dark Kiss. I believe the author's name is Michelle Bowen. This looked really good and I actually had it as part of On My Radar a few weeks ago. I still haven't really found that perfect angels and demons kind of story that's really like defined that theme or genre, whatever you want to call it, for me. It's sort of like how I haven't really found it with werewolves. So this, I'm hoping will be it. There's no guarantee though, but I had to check it out. It looked promising. So here it is, and I'm sure you'll hear my thoughts on it eventually, but I just wanted to show it to you. The next two books that I got are actually really awesome. These, I was sort of looking forward to getting these, but I also sort of didn't realize these were what I'd be getting. These two books are called The Assassin's Curse by Cassandra Rose Clark, I believe that's correct and Poultry Geeks by Sean Cummings, and these came as ARCs from Strange Chemistry. These are for review. They release in October, so I'll probably be reviewing them in September. Anyway, thank you so much for sending these. This is actually a really big deal to me because this is the first time I've been sent books for review by a publisher in, like, actual physical copy and everything, so that's pretty cool. And I'm pretty excited to read these because they sound totally fabulous. So yeah, watch out for those in the fall, because I will be talking about them. The next books that I'm going to show you are from an Amazon order I did this week. These are tied into the whole Tales of Olithica thing, where I'm sort of researching the fantasy and fairy tale retelling genres, or like ideas, or whatever you want to call those exactly, to sort of see what has been done so I don't repeat someone else's work, because that's pointless. Anyway. The first one I got is called Entwined. This is a fairy tale retelling. I believe this is Twelve Dancing Princesses, which should be pretty cool because it's a tale I'm not actually very familiar with. But the cover is lovely. I can't wait if you can see the beautiful gloss and everything. I love the sample I read on my Kindle. I couldn't resist getting this, and I can't wait to dive into it. It looks really good. This should be on the blog soon. Not immediately, but soon. The next one that I picked up is one that I have wanted for ages. This is Touch of Power by 
Maria V. Snyder. I totally couldn't resist picking this up when I was getting ready to do this because I always play healers when I do MMOs or when I'm gaming and stuff, and this is about a healer. I've really never seen a book where this was the focus before, so when I read about this, I knew I was going to read it eventually, and when I read the sample, I wanted it even more, so uh, to be sitting here and holding it now is pretty awesome. So yet again, expect this soon, not next, but soon, because I'm already reading something. But this should be quite interesting, this looks very promising. The last thing I got from Amazon is actually what I'm reading currently, and it is Dragon's Wood by Janet Lee Carey, I believe. And this, so far, is fabulous. I'm really enjoying this. I'm having a great time with it. It shows a lot of promise. I'm only 70 pages in, so I don't want to render, obviously, a final verdict, but I will say at this point that it definitely shows potential, and I'm definitely interested. So this should hopefully be reviewed sometime this week. So you can look out for that because I should finish this no problem, I'm really enjoying it. But yeah, this actually looks like it should be a lot of fun and everything. And I'm really excited that I got it. The last two books I have to show you, and I have a couple other little things. I didn't expect any of this stuff to come in the mail. I didn't even actually know this stuff was coming in the mail. So when these came on Friday, it was quite a surprise. The first thing here is a copy of Die For Me by Amy Plum. Now, some of you who have seen my other videos probably know that I received two copies of Die From Me from Jody over at Books For Company about, I think, six months ago. So when I received this, I was kind of confused. I was like, really? Die For Me? Who sent me that? But there's something pretty awesome about it. When I opened it up and I was looking at it, and I went, wow. And that is that this is signed, which is really cool. I believe this came from someone named Kayla. So if it's you that sent it, thank you so very much. I will definitely be enjoying this. I actually quite like the book. I three-starred it, but I really did enjoy it. So having a signed copy of it is pretty awesome. Thanks again. Okay, the last thing that I had come in, this is very strange for me. I'm not used to this. I actually had an actual little package come in. And what it is, is it's a copy of a book called Blood Spell by Amelie. Howard, I hope I pronounced your name correctly, and I got this lovely book, and if I open it, I'll read it to you first, it's signed, it says, Kathy, believe all things are possible, and it has her signature, and I'll show that to you, that's pretty awesome, in and of itself, I would have been floored with that, it also came with this lovely bookmark, which is also signed, which was pretty darn cool, I don't get these too often. When I do, I'm usually pretty excited about them. So let me slide that back in with the books for, book for now so that nothing happens to it. And the last thing I got from her with this, which I thought was really neat and quite original, because I've never received anything like it before, is I received this tote, and it's got the name of the book, and it's got a quote, and she actually signed the bag and everything. So I thought that was pretty darn cool. Thank you very much. I'll definitely be checking the book out. It looks very interesting. So that's what I got this week. I and Well, some of it's this week and some of it's the last few, but overall I got a lot of really awesome stuff. Thank you to the people and companies who sent me things. Thanks for my mom for taking me out shopping because I like going. But yeah, everything I got in the last little while has been pretty darn awesome. Anyway. I'd love to see what you guys have received this week or in the last little while or whatever you want to show me. So feel free to link up and I'll definitely drop by and visit you. Talk to you later and thanks for watching.